Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a, a, just a little test actually. It's on this um, nice little um, gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to do a dip from canvas to canvas. Um, but I'm going to pour my colours with this little flower cup that I got from an um, Australian guy called Tim Husband. He's just a home... Um, what's the machine that you use to create these? A 3D machine. I can't remember. My brain's gone. I'm just going to try and do a little flower on it. Um, probably would have been better if I had a bigger canvas actually. But I'm just going to pour on this cup and see if I can dip from one to the other. So, just wish me luck. Wish me luck. I put a link to my pouring medium recipe in the comments will be at the top of this um, particular pour. So, that's just white and this is a bit of um, gold with burnt sienna in it. to start off the pour and go back to white again this is the uh, magenta bright green green bright um, got to put the yellow in there hope that I'm just not going to make mud, that's all. <laughs> and some turquoise. And a little bit of my Berry Delicious, which I just custom make from magenta, phalo blue and um, a blob of black. That's gold. Excuse me. Back to the magenta. I'm guessing that this maybe will not work if I'm going to do a dip on it. I, I have got no idea and that is why I'm testing it. So maybe the paints need to be thicker for a dip as I learnt last week. They came out muddy. But I'm just going to try this particular one. So I'll just allow those paints to uh, run off. And while I am waiting for them to run off, I will just use my skewer to um, run through the separated bits on the canvas. And I will lift it very gently. Oops, that created like a little suction. So, what does she do with the centre, you may ask? <laughs> Maybe I just put some paint in the centre. Maybe when I dip, it will squidge about the place, but I will just put some paint in the centre of this. May not work. Oops. May do and it may not. So we just go. Just give it a go. Just give it a go, I say. It's bright anyway. I'm back with my bright colours this week and I love it. I really do love my bright colours. Enjoy them very much. So sometimes you've got to go back to things that you enjoy even though it's nice experimenting okay i'm going to get my little skewer thing again and actually i might go the other way through I 
I'm um, thinking that this, <laughs> this might just be a big blobby mess, but how do you know if you don't try, hey? You've got to give things a go. So, 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 wish me luck, people. Wish me luck. Oh, you know what? I should have put white around there, shouldn't I? Anyway, I've done it now. I'm just going to see what it turns out like. It was only a small amount of paint, so I can absolutely can uh, just scrape it off and start again. It's not much paint. It was an experiment, so go with the flow. Pour your heart out. Whatever they say, just enjoy every minute of your art experience because it is definitely artist therapy for us all. I'm just going to push it out from the centre with my fingers. I'm going to turn it upside down too, maybe. That made me just make it muddy, I'm not sure. Ah! Anyway, anyhow, let's do it. Let's grab all to the bottom one. Wowzers, trousers! Look at that! Look at the top one! <laughs> I should have put some white on around the edges. Well, isn't that a gorgeous butterfly if I put the body in the centre? It would look like a gorgeous butterfly. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm quite happy with that one. There you go. This little cup. It did a great dip and I did not think it would, but there's a few things I would change. Obviously, I need to put paint on the rest of the canvas now. Um, but look at that. That is just a you beaut little stunner. A you beaut little stunner. And I love it. I hope you do too. So, another little crazy experiment, but with bright colours. I really need to... Um, I'll just go around the edges and fix this up a bit so you will see the end product on the photos at the end but I will give you some close-ups on it because the lacing oh, I need to, I'll take the video down and come closer for you because it's lovely okay Joe just brought the video down I've got the overhead glare maybe on just need to turn off the overhead lights for you but some of the lacing in that is just gorgeous and as you can see like it looks like a butterfly for sure if it was painted in the center the butterfly that's a pretty nice dip from that uh, flower cup and it's just given me so many more ideas for other things but there you go i love it so wait on for the uh, dried photos at the end and uh, yeah maybe you might want to give this a try so take care people uh, bye for now until tomorrow come back tomorrow and join me on my crazy art journey so stay safe and create